Alright guys, welcome back to the part 2 of the Power Functions review. Sorry guys, in the last video my batteries were running really short. I should I probably should have noticed that when I first started filming. But then again, my camera I'm actually using is prone to actually wear out on batteries very quickly. So, back to where I left off. On the XL motor, like I said, this is the bad horse of the whole Power function system. As you can see, it's just... It's just huge. I mean, in comparison to the M motor, it the size is just uh, ridiculous. I mean, but this motor is really popular in like some trial trucks and stuff. So I showed this thing running in the first part. So uh, let's just uh, move right on to some of the other motors and power functions accessories. So uh, next up is the L motor. That's right, this is one of the newest motors LEGO has released and it has to be one of the coolest motors in my opinion. I mean this thing is just crazy dude. This motor is actually designed to be uh, replaced, not really replaced, but just work where the XL motor is too large and the M motor is too small. I mean it's uh, one, stun, what's one stud longer than the M motor, wow, I cannot pronounce the one words today. And uh, it actually has a decent amount of torque. Uh, it's more than the M motor, but less than the XL motor. And uh, let's turn this thing on. So, uh... It is just a really cool motor, guys. Uh, I probably should hunker down and buy me a second one of these motors because this motor is really cool and it actually allows you to build on off the side. It's got holes on the sides and the front and the back. Uh, unlike the M motor, it just has studded uh, pieces on the bottom and no holes on the back versus this motor here. So like I said, it's one stud longer. Uh, this motor is six studs long, this one's seven. The EXO motor is six studs long, so six. So next up is the wicked cool servo motor. This thing is awesome, dude. It's just awesome. Um I mean awesome, okay. Anyway, this motor is designed to actually be used with the actual IR receiver and the remote. Bam. Okay. This actually this is a good segue into this part of the film anyway. So, let's just attach... Good night. I cannot even work this thing today. Alright. Attach the IR receiver. And this actually uh, uses three AAA batteries. And uh, pull the uh, back off it. This one is for the uh, uh, speed remote. I'll get to this baby uh, in a second. Um... So it works with these two knobs, and it's got four channel selectors that you can change, as does this. It's got uh, four channel selectors. Uh, but we'll put on channel one and channel one for now. And uh, let's see if we can hook this bad boy up right here. There we go. And you'll know it's actually on because it makes a little noise. I'll show you again. Alright, so, and let me set this camera down here to show you. Alright, now what's really cool, guys, is I can actually use the speed remote here, and this actually works in increments with the motor, and it also uses three AAA batteries. And it actually has a red button, which I call the kill switch. It actually instantly stops the motor, or in the servo's motor case, returns it back to its central position. So, uh, this is on channel uh, 1, this is also on channel 1, it also has four channel selectors. So, it's still powered on. And let me set this bad boy down. And it can work like this.
All right. Let's just get rid of all of this. And getting to the close, guys. This is the Power Functions Pole Reverser Switch. This actually is really handy uh, for lights uh, and just motor attachments. So let me show you what this thing does. Let's just plug this thing right back up here. I'll bring up my common M motor, attach it right there. And when I turn it on, nothing happens. But wait. So that's really cool. And that can be useful for any number of reasons. So for instance, if you don't want your lights to come on or your motor to come on when you first power up the battery box, just move the switch and it'll work. Alright, that was my fun for today. And uh, let's just put the lights up here to show you. And these are really cool too. Alright guys, that about does it for today's review on the second part of the Power Functions Elements. Hope you guys really enjoyed this review. Stay tuned for any more updates and reviews, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later.